so in these ways and many others, uh, some, many aspects of Hitler's anti-Semitism had nothing to do with, uh, with the anti-Judaism. Professor Avalos. Uh, well, I, I think that I, all, all I have to do is read uh, his definition of Darwinism, uh, and you can see for yourself whether he moved the goalpost. He said on page 9, When I use the term Darwinism in this study, I mean the theory of evolution through natural selection as advanced by Darwin in the origin of species. So uh, maybe he just should have redefined uh, what he wanted to talk about, but he also criticized other scholars for redefining their uh, definitions. But let me get back to this Luther thing. Uh, Dr. Weichart insists that uh, it, they're very different, uh, Luther's plan from uh, uh, Hitler's plan. But in fact, what I just quoted was uh, a Lutheran scholar's own assessment, and he says that they're very similar. So Dr. Weichart is in disagreement with even Luther scholars. But let me give you a couple more uh, similarities. Kristallnacht, the uh, horrendous um, destruction of Jewish synagogues and other Jewish-owned businesses in 1938 uh, is paralleled by that's the first point of, of Luther's plan. You destroy their synagogues. And when did Kristallnacht take place? Well, it took place on Luther's birthday. Now, that may be a sure coincidence, but uh, some people don't think there is a coincidence there. Second, if you read Mein Kampf, uh, you will find that on page 213 of the Mannheim English edition, Luther, um, uh, Hitler says this, quote, Besides Frederick the Great, stand Martin Luther, as well as Richard Wagner. Now, Dr. Weichart, tell me, where in Mein Kampf does Hitler ever quote Darwin for any of his rationales uh, and uh, policies? Go ahead, Professor. Okay, uh, concerning, uh, I'll take the last question first about does Hitler ever quote Darwin? Uh, Hitler, as far as I know, never used the word Darwin, uh, in, and certainly not in Mein Kampf he didn't. However, he does use the word evolution quite frequently. Uh, he, uh, the German word is Entwicklung. Unfortunately, uh, Mannheim often translates this as development, which is a correct translation of the word Entwicklung at times, but uh, in the context of biological evolution, Entwicklung is the word that German biologists use uh, to, uh, for evolution. Entwicklung's theorie is the uh, evolution. So Hitler does often talk about evolution. I already indicated that at the beginning of his pivotal chapter on nation and race, he has an extended uh, discussion of uh, evolution there. Also, if you look at many of his speeches, especially his secret speeches that he gave during World War II to uh, officers, he quite often uh, uses uh, the term evolution. He even discusses, uh, he gives a, he ex discusses the concept of natural selection. You say I'm moving the goalpost, but I am using the definition of evolution by natural selection. Uh, Dar Hitler clearly laid out Evolution by natural selection claimed there's a population increase, just like Darwin did. He claimed that uh, this led to a competition between the, the uh, individuals and races within the species. Uh, Hitler laid it out constantly in his secret speeches, in his private conversations. You look at the table talks, he constantly is talking about evolution. In fact, Hitler's secretary, Jungo Traude, uh, or excuse me, uh, Traudel Junge, rather, excuse me, I got it inverted. Traudel Junge said that Hitler often criticized Christianity but approved of human evolution. She says that in her uh, uh, biography, or autobiography. Uh, there are many, many other uh, examples I could give of Hitler uh, stating quite forthrightly that he believed in evolution, and including human evolution, uh, both in his table talks, his secret speeches, his speeches about the Nazi worldview. Hitler said this again and again and again. He doesn't necessarily say Darwin's name, but he talks about evolution. He discusses the concept. So what we're talking about here is the concept of evolution and Darwinism. We're not necessarily saying he had to have said Darwin's name. There is actually one account where someone does claim he mentioned Darwin, uh, one of his adjutants, uh, uh, Otto Wagner, saying that Hitler did explicitly use the name Darwin. I don't know if that's true or not. It was written later on. Uh, but Hitler does uh, quite often uh, quote from Darwin. Whether uh, or not uh, Darwin says certain things in The Origin of Species, uh, Darwin said nothing about human evolution in the origin of species other than what light might be shed on it. It was later in The Descent of Man that Darwin began applying Darwinism to humanity, and that's uh, what this uh, a debate of influence is all about. So I'm not moving the goalposts. I'm simply showing how both Darwin, after the uh, origin of species, as well as other Darwinists later on, applied these ideas to humanity, and Hitler did likewise. 